end of this one. I cannot eat. My inheritance? No. I know, but I know it's your inheritance. Daddy, if you get to that village, don't just let anybody upset you. Eh? You know that Udenta and his brothers are so evil. Don't just let anybody upset you for no reason at all. I have told him. I have told him. Instead of dying because of that piece of land that okay, leave it for them. Hmm? Leave it for them. When a man gets money, he will he, he will buy better land. But you know that, that land belongs to my father. I know, I know. And I inherited it for him before his death. Look, if I don't work hard for this land, my father will not be happy with me in the spirit. Uh, Papa. So, uh, look, no. Papa, Papa, if you kill yourself because of that piece of land, that land will remain where it is. You are more precious to us than that nonsense piece of oh, land. Oh, listen to your children. Please, Papa, don't let anybody harm me because of that land. Please, Papa. I'll fight. But I should not talk about that land again. Yes. yes. You don't have to kill yourself. God will help us. We'll buy a better piece of land in a better area than that. Please, Papa. Okay. You've won. You've won. You've won. You are at it again. How long will you continue to do this? Eh? What do you want us to do? She has been crying all day. I thank God you are back. Hey. Maybe you can try and calm her down. Oh my God. Mama, you can't continue to go on like this. How do you expect us to go on with our daily endeavors if you continue crying like this? Hey? Papa is dead. I know I'm out of tears. Can bring it back? Oh, <laughs> you can bring it back? Oh my God! Please, you people should stop this. Stop this, or else I will run away from this house. I will run away from this house. I don't care. Oh my God! Oh my God! Well, we're in this situation together. And I believe that no matter how bad the situation is, we can always win through it. <laughs> Mama is not capable of working. And Lou, you can't drop out of school. I just believe that we should all manage. 
and pray that God will help us. My daughter, yes, God will surely give you the strength to carry this big burden. Baby, thank you so much. I promise not to disappoint you. You know I love you so much. Yeah, me too. Thanks. Am I dropping you off at school? No. No thanks. I have afternoon lectures today. I'll just stay with Mama until I'm ready to leave. Okay. I will. to travel to the United States, but that will only be possible if I can present uh, a sponsor who has a foreign account. But I don't have such an account. I, I know, but I just, I just thought you might know somebody who does, at least maybe one of your customers. Mr. Ken, this, I, I can't reveal such personal oh. matters about my customers, it's, it's not right. No, just that I, I felt maybe. Well, it's all right. Um, thank you very much for at least listening to me. But I, I only came because uh, my friend uh, Steve directed me to you. Oh, Steve! Oh, please sit down. You should have said so in the first place. Please do sit down. Do have a seat. Let me see what I can do for you. Hello, please may I speak with Chief Donald? Okay, thank you. Hello, Chief. Betsy speaking. Everything is fine, sir. Work is fine. Um, Chief, I have this problem I think you can help me solve. You see, my brother intends to travel to the United States. But he would need a sponsor with a foreign account. Yes, to serve as guarantee. 
No, 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 Chief. You don't have to pay any money. Just the statement of the foreign accounts, yes. So that he can present it to them at the embassy. Okay, I'll have him bring them. Thank you so much, Chief. Thank you. God will bless you. Have a nice day, sir. You too. Bye-bye. Well, Mr. Ken, I think I know somebody who is willing to guarantee for you. Oh, thank you very much, Miss Betty. It's just that he needs um, your documents. Oh, I have, all of, I have all of them right here. Okay, then you drop them with me and okay. come back tomorrow and collect them. Okay. And the statement as well. Oh, thank you very much. God will bless you. I don't even know how to start to no, thank no, you. No, no, no. You don't have to thank me. <laughs> thank God for the life of your guarantor. Ah, thank you very much. All right. Yes. Have a nice day. All right, you too. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. Livina, please come. Yes, I'm rushing off to meet an appointment with one of my clients. Please tell the manager when he comes. Okay, I'll tell him when Thank he comes. See me in my office quickly. Uh -uh. Miss Betty, what's it gonna happen now? No, 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 you don't change like this. But I'm not Betty. You don't start this morning, no. You are not Betty. Then who are you? Hey. I beg go and some manager. You know they share for this morning at all. Betty, I thought I asked you to see me in my office. She said she's not Betty. I'm not Betty. Please believe me. What kind of joke is this? You people are embarrassing me. My name is Lucy. And I'm here to see my twin sister. Betty, listen. As you can see, I'm in no mood for any kind of joke. Okay? For God's sake, what is all this? My name is Lucy and I'm not Betty. I see you didn't come here to work today. So I advise you to leave here before any ugly situation occurs. All right? Now. I better leave the fire with you now. Hey, what is all this? What is all this now? What was going into Miss Betty's head this morning, eh? Why? Because of your attitude towards him now. What attitude? Uh, and what is this your style of changing your clothes every second? Livina, you're embarrassing me. What do you mean changing my clothes every second? Is this not the same clothes I came, I went out with and I'm coming back with? I thought I asked you to leave. Why? Is anything the matter? You're suspended for two weeks. Me? What for? For insubordination and indiscipline. Insubordination? Indiscipline? To whom? We'll talk about that upon your return from your suspension. Leave me now. Please take all the necessary papers from her now. Baby, what's wrong? I've been suspended. Oh, oh, oh my God. I'm sorry. 
Do you hate me? Yes. Oh. I'm so sorry, okay? Please, just, just forgive me, please. Oh, okay, sir. Okay. Oh. Please, please see me, ma'am. She's a twin. Yeah, she is. <laughs> She's a twin. <laughs> Mama, please. Mama, please don't do this to us right now. Mama, please. Mama, please. You know you're all we have right now. Mama, please. Oh, Mama, please. Please don't go. Please. Mommy, please. Please, you can't do this to us. Please. Oh, Mommy, please. Look.
Dear Betty, I am writing this letter to show appreciation for your help to me. I have settled in the United States and doing very fine. I want also to say that I have deep thought concerning you. Words are few that can describe vividly how deeply I feel for you. I love you deeply and I hope you will keep this love till I see you again. Yours sincerely, Kim. I wonder which one of you is better. Guess. Guess. There will be no use trying. Then save your breath and Betty. Oh, thank God. Well, Betty, I... I came to tell you that I've finally gotten my visa and I'll be traveling by next week. Oh, good. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much, madam. I also brought you this um, little gift to say thank you for your help. Um, no, you shouldn't have brought it yourself. Mm. Please, Betty, don't turn down this part, okay? I'm giving it to you from the bottom of my heart. Please. Please. Okay, then. Can you give me your chest? Thank you. Must have cost you a lot of money to buy this furniture. Well, that's Just my taste. That's my taste. Interesting. Must have cost you your life savings, you uh, know? It cost me a lot, girlfriend. I can't even imagine. It's beautiful. Yeah, I like it. I like the space and the cute furniture. So, to what do I owe this unexpected office visit? <laughs> Betty. Yes? My landlord has thrown me out. What? Why? He asked me when I packed into the house. And I turned down his request. That's all. Hmm. This landlord Seth. Since then he has been on my throat too. Now he has finally thrown me out of his house. I don't even know where else to go to. I'm stranded, but... That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. yeah. 
You can come and live with us. Come and move in with us. Mm. Yeah. You're not serious, are you? I'm not joking. Move in with us. It's so wonderful. You're such a darling. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What are friends for? Thank you. I don't know what I would have done without you. No, 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 no. I can't wait to live in this beautiful house. Then do. When are you coming? If you want me to come in a minute, they are here. Then go get your things. Are you serious? Yes, oh, that's that's like me very much. I can't wait to share this comfort with you. I have to run along, yeah? Yeah, do, 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 do. Yeah. Alright. Bye. How they go? Alright. <laughs> the hospital. I'm beginning to get uncomfortable with this your illness. So. What's this? I'm making paracetamol. Yes, I'm bringing my sweatshirt. Please. All right. Please. You'll be fine. Okay? Yes. I'll be right back. We'll have to see a doctor. Let's try. 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 Let's
I would ask that one of the nurses to take the prescription to the uh, pharmacist. So, uh, you go to the pharmacist and uh, pick up the drugs. Is that right? Thank you, doctor. Right. Right. Um, Betty, don't be afraid, huh? You'll be all right very soon, okay? Um, just make sure you have enough rest. Is that fair? Yes, doctor. Thank um, you. Okay.
Calm down, both of you. No, 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 calm down, both of you. Please, let's go talk in my office. But I want to go. No, 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 I'm afraid we can't do that now. Please, let's go to my office. No, no, this way, please, let's go to my office. This way, to my office. Now, listen, unless you both stop crying, I will not stop to you. I might be compelled to discharge your sister right away. Okay. I'm very sorry. I won't cry. Doctor, please, we're sorry. Go ahead. There is no need to cry. Yes, she is ill. Uh, yes, it is serious, but uh, I can assure you nothing will happen to her. Doctor. Yes. What is wrong with her? Uh, your sister has a malfunction of the kidney. Uh, although it is serious, but um, we have put her on oxygen uh, to, uh, uh, to serve as a support. So, what do we do now? Uh, we have to source for a donor. That is somebody that will give her a kidney. You can take one of mine. She's, she's all I have. She must not die. She's all I have. Why not? But we must run a series of tests on you with a view to determining the suitability and compatibility of your kidney before decisions will be made in that regard. But how long can she last with the oxygen measures? For as long as the cylinder lasts, but we have to make replacements uh, on a regular basis just to ensure that she hangs in there before a donor comes. Please, let's not waste any more time. I'm ready to donate one of mine. Okay. Nurse. Help her. Yeah, take like this. Let her go with you and let them run a series of tests on her. You may go with her. The result of your laboratory test is out. I am sorry, uh, we cannot take your kidney. Doctor, why? She's my twin sister. Lucy, you have only one active kidney and you cannot afford to donate that to her. 
We'll have to look for donors from the outside, such as individuals and teaching hospitals. Certainly, her survival largely depends on how fast a donor shows up. That I should not talk about that plan again. Yes. You don't have to kill yourself. God will help us. We'll buy a better piece of land in a better area than that. Please, Papa. Okay. You've won. You've won. My, what is it? My, what is it? My, what is it? No! Papa, 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 Please don't leave us now. Please, 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 please. Mama. 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 What? Mama. Oh my God. Mama, please. Mama, please. Mama, please. Mama, please. Mama, please. No, 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 no. I, I, I didn't say that, but um, I am sure if we try harder, I don't know who shall we come along. She's still in the hospital, under oxygen max and dialysis. Hey, yeah. Uh, but don't worry, everything will be fine. God will definitely heal her, okay? Thank you. Actually, I came to see if the manager is around. Is he in? Yeah, he's in. You can go and see him, eh? Thank you very much. Oh, hello. Oh, how are you? Please sit down. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How is your sister? She's dying, manager. It's a shame. It's a shame. D did you receive the package you sent to her? Yes, thank you very much. Right now, we are desperately soliciting for donors for our kidney transplant. Yes, yes, yes. I read that in the papers. Um, does it mean up till now no one has donated? Not before I left the hospital. Oh. She's still under intensive care oh. and under an oxygen max. It's a, it's a pity. If there is anything you want us to do, please do not hesitate, okay? Okay. That's actually why I came to see if there's anything that the office can do for her. Not exactly, not exactly. But, um, except if she's qualified for the golden package. Really? Okay, just a minute, okay? Hello? Levina, um, can I have Betty's file? Okay, sorry. Let's, let's just pray she is. You do something for me, okay? You take this and prepare the check for her. Okay, go and prepare the, the package, okay? Okay, sir. 
Thank you very much. This will be allowing me to accept that. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry, okay? Uh, we'll prepare that golden package. It's 200,000 naira. But I'm afraid that after that, she will no longer be entitled to any form of service. And um, we will not be paying her any salary anymore. Take this to the cashier, okay? And let them give her a check. Or, or would you prefer cash? Cash, please. I don't want to go through the procedure of all these checks. Oh, that's good. Okay. Thank you. I'm so, so much sorry. Champion. My regards to her. I'll, I'll find time to come and see her, okay? All right. Thank see you. you. All right. Bye. What do we do now? I don't know. Yes, I don't know. It seems like the end of the road is near. Every last penny has been spent and she's still not recovering. As long as the kidneys are down, she can't recover. Che, Betty. Lucy, don't start this mm. now. Eh? See, let's pray to God. Maybe God will hear us and send Betty a donor. Mm. Or even perform a miracle on Bibi. Yes. Prayer? What more can I pray about? Eh? Let's pray about anything. After all, we're meant to pray without season. Let's just we'll continue to pray. Eh? She'll get better. Um. Oh. Welcome, sir. And how are you today? We're looking onto God. Oh, God, landlord, good afternoon. And how is your sister? She's not getting better. Well, it will be all right. Huh? You see, well, I have come in respect of your overdue rent. I will strongly suggest that you people should pack back to the village. Ah. It will save you a lot of embarrassment. Landlord, landlord, we can't go back to the village. There's nobody there to go back to. Besides, even if I want to go back to the village, it won't be now, not when Betty is still in the hospital. But then you people have to pay part of your rent. <laughs> Look, it has started affecting me. Ah, I, am go I am going now. Eh? Lord, please please think so about it. Huh? Think about it. Ah. Oh. We have to sustain your sister, else she will give up. That means that you have to pay more money to enable us buy more oxygen cylinders because what we have now cannot last more than 12 hours. Jesus Christ. Doctor. Yes. Why can't you just take my kidney? Baby cannot die. I am afraid that is not possible and you know why. The best thing to do is to look for a willing donor or go to the Federal Medical Center or teaching hospitals. But you must be quick to do whatever you want to. Just 12 hours to replenish her oxygen supply. Is that clear? Yes, Doctor. Yes, yes.
Hey, that is my car. What are you doing and fumbling with it? I'm very sorry. My mind was kind of strange. I'm very sorry. The car has to go. Bibi has to be kept alive. I think so. Are you sure you would want to go through this? Yes. Have you considered the dangers inherent in it? I've considered the benefits to my sister. Maybe you would want to go home and thoroughly think about it. Doctor, I've done all the thinking there is to be done on this issue. And you are convinced uh, you would want to take the risk? As long as it's my sister, yes. Bibi must not die. I want Bibi to live. I 
I want you to carefully read this and sign the undertaking thereafter. Doctor, I do not need to read this. I am aware of the responsibility of the outcome of my decision. I will sign it right away. Okay. Here. Ten o'clock, uh, you we will open your. Okay, doctor. But should you change your mind, please let me know. Doctor, I'm not going back on my word. What manner of love is this? For one to die, for the other to live. What kind of love is this? Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, yes. I'm ready to go to lose my life for Bibi. Honestly, I'm completely beaten by the whole thing. I'm just confused. What will I be leaving for if she goes, eh? What? She has a future already. And I'm just trying to lay down my foundation. She has better chances if she leaves. You will not die, okay? You will leave. God will make a way. If it happen to you, it's alright. Don't worry. Wait, you will leave. And you will leave too. Don't let what happened to you. Please don't cry. It is your choice, and I will not dissuade you. Your sister has 24 hours to stay on the oxygen therapy. There are possibilities to our efforts. If we succeed with your sister, she leaves, but you may go if no donor comes forward. Another possibility is a bad one, and that is that if your sister rejects the kidney and no donor comes forward, then both of you may go. My sister would die even after I've given her my only kidney. Then you we'll submit to the Lord's designs. My mind is strongly made up, and I'm not afraid of any misfortune. Doctor, yes. let's not delay this any further. Don't worry. God will see you through. Thank you. You have to be strong for Betty. Thank you. Well done. Shall we?
my sisters will see a bet. Oh, please. They are already. They are already. Sit down and go down. Sit down to this side. Are you sure? Yes, they will be all right. Let me have the scissors. Two hours to carry out this uh, kidney transplant, or oh, we'll lose both of them. I am ready. Let's move the stuff. Found me. Is anything the problem? Yeah. I'm, I'm from the hospital. From the hospital? Yes. Did anything happen? Huh? Did, did something happen? I don't know where to start. You, you start from somewhere. Just say anything. Ah. Yeah, say something. Is uh, your friends? My friends? What about them? Why? I, I 
as if she knew she was going. encouraging. Um, she's not doing badly at all. Okay, uh, she will leave the hospital soon. She is doing well. Thank you, Doctor. Yes, um, yeah, except that um, the problem I have is um, her sister. And this is because uh, we're running out of a um, supply of oxygen. And um, if my donor turns up in three days, the result will be uh, terrible to say the least. See the manager. Is he expecting you? Not really. Um, it's about your former staff, Betty. Betty? How is she? Yeah. She's doing well. I want to talk to the manager about her. Okay, you it's free to me. Thank you. Transplant from her sister and is recovering. Good, good, good. But her sister needs help. She has only two days to leave. Why? Her oxygen supply is fast running out, and no person has come forward to donate a kidney for her. That's sad. It's a bit sad. I'm so sorry. But how do we come in? I'm sure you're aware Betty no longer works for us. Um, 
And I doubt very much if there is anyone who would want to donate any kidney. Oh, um, I, I thought you were willing to help us a little more. At least for her to last a little longer before it do not come in. Rose. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid the company has done all it can. We cannot help you. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I really, I, um, I was unavoidably absent, uh, but um, I have this stubborn case in my clinic. Hey, stubborn? Yes. And what case is that? Kidney failure. Get the transfer, doctor. We did. You see, the donor has one active kidney, so we have been looking for another donor for her. I don't understand. Did you run this for the donor up? Of course we did. You see, what makes this case peculiar is that it is emotional. The donor is a twin sister to the patient. Even when I, I advised against her donating her kidney, she remained adamant. She went ahead and signed the undertaking. That is serious. And the sister, how is she doing now? Well, 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 she is doing very well, except that her sister is causing me great concern. Now? I, uh, I have less than 12 hours to either save or lose her. Put her under the mask. We did this all this while. But the problem is that they cannot pay for additional supplies of oxygen and what we have can only last till the end of today. Too bad. Too bad. But I have a man who will be willing to donate his kidney. Really? Yeah. Oh look, Dr. Phil, I can't wait to see this man. Can you send him to my clinic? Right away. I have to get home now and do that. Yes, I'll be waiting for you for him in my office. Thank, Thank you very much.
What? What? Oh my God! And I, I, I have just four hours to do all I can for Lucy. Goodness. But why has thou forsaken us? I'm looking for Betty. Betty? Yes, she has a, a twin sister. They are actually identical twins. Oh, Betty, Ejima. Hey, exactly. You don't pack out, Tete. Huh? After their papa and mama die, they pack them off from here. Jesus Christ. Now, bros, forget them now. Time they pass you. Listen, man, I'll pay you for extra time, okay? Alright. Madam. Don't you know where I can locate them right now? No, oh, I'm not fit, no. <sighs> it's alright, madam. Thank you very okay, much. Bye bye. Hospital. Hospital? Yeah. Which hospital? Mm, St. John's Hospital on Akobo Street. She's very, very ill. Some people said she might even give up. Oh, God forbid. Did you say St. John's Hospital on Akobo Street? Yeah, yeah, St. John's. Nothing we can do now. You see, because we have uh, three hours left, 
and by 7 p.m. Uh, it would have expired. Doctor, I think um, it is proper having to let Betty know the situation now. No, no. Doctor, please, don't tell her anything. Lucy might survive after all. Come, might perform a miracle or something, but please don't tell Betty anything. Rose, you see, you can't continue to keep it from her. The earlier you tell her, the quicker she begins to adjust to it. Yes, ma'am. There's a new one who wants to see the visitor. Where is it? I'm so sure. Okay, you can go. Um, Rose, would you like to see the visitor now? Okay. Two hours and 30 minutes? I just wish God would do that miracle she talked about. Sati is Rose. She's looking after Betty and the sister. Good day. Good day. Did you just say she's looking after Betty and the sister? Yes. The both of them are here. Betty is recording. My well, sister has no chance of survival. Why? She has barely three hours to survive under the oxygen mask. Well, what is wrong with her? She donated her kidney to Betty. But we can't find a donor for her. And she's about losing her life. Oh, wait, wait a minute. What she's saying right now is that for her to survive, all she needs is somebody to donate a kidney? So Just kidney? one kidney. That's all we need. One. Wait, where's the doctor? He's in his office. Can I see him? Two and a half hours to go, he demands the hand of God to do just that. This is a miracle. I'm not afraid, Dr. Please. Uh, well, uh, Dr. Ben, could you ask uh, the nurses to get the theater ready? Okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, young man, uh, let's go get you prepared. All right, Dr. Ben, I'll let you see her for a minute first. Okay, let me see. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So, I fixed the theater. Driver, how much is your money? Three thousand. Three thousand. Okay, I'm going to give you three thousand five hundred. I want you to help take my sister to the house so that she'll drop some of my things up in the house. Um, Rose, just follow into the house, huh? I'll float all my luggages in the house. Uh, I'll pick them up when I'm through from the hospital. Yeah.
man? How, how are you progressing? I am coping very good. Yeah. You said for the transplant. She went to Lagos to solicit some funds for your upkeeping here. She'll be right back. And you know what? That lady is really trying for you. Okay? My God will reward her. Amen. But my sister, I've not seen her since. Your sister, she went to look for some money for your upkeeping here as well. I'm sure she'll be back soon. Okay? Now we need some. She's not responding. She's not responding at all. And I am bothered. I am bothered. What a wasted exercise. Who would have forgotten about her? I, I don't understand this. Did, did she decide to die or what? I'm afraid there is no hope. Um, nurses. Doctor. Yes, doctor. Please prepare her for the mortuary. Yes, doctor. Doctor, how is she? Doctor, how is she? I'm sorry. She didn't make it. What? Ask you to 
help me with that. But this is not strenuous enough. It's just something to stretch my muscles so that they don't kick up. Mm -hmm. You yeah. think so? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, the doctor says you must rest. And I insist you do so. But I've been resting for too long. Huh. I think so. Man, at this rate, I'm, I'm going to end up in your clothes or, or probably bedridden. The way you are pampering me. Betty, oh. rest. Rest, okay? That's what the doctor says. Okay, mommy, you win. I'll take care of you. I'm resting. Rose? Yes, there. I want to thank you so much for what you've done for me. And I pray that the good Lord will reward for the visit you. Amen. You're really a friend indeed. Thank you. I know you will do the same for me. You're welcome then. Be right back. <laughs> Work. Me too. Anything to get out of the boredom of staying in one place. I can't go. Thank you. God has finally answered our prayers. Yes. Ken is here. Hi, Lee. Hey. What's up, girl? Hi. How's my baby doing today? Hi, love. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Ken. I hope you girls uh, slept well last night. Like babies, you know. Except that our mouths are filled with testimonies today. Oh, yeah? So let's hear them. Betty has been called back to work by her office. Are you serious? Oh, congratulations, honey. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's good news. So, when are you resuming? Let's week Monday. Ah. Wow. This calls for celebration. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Maybe I should take you girls out tonight. That's all right. No, 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 no. Let's celebrate in-house. Don't need to go out, please. Oh. Yes. In-house. Okay. Whatever the Queen says. Or oh, do we have any objections? As the cards pleases. All right. So tonight, here yeah, we celebrate. Yes. Well, uh, I, I have to run along now. Huh? I have to put one or two things together, but I'll be joining you ladies tonight. We should have allowed him to take us out, at least for the first time. Ah, but you know I don't like night outings. Let's celebrate here. Loki. key. Mm, you win. You win. But maybe he would have taken us to a Chinese restaurant. Mm, Chinese restaurant. Let me cook him a well-made home meal. Somebody that just came back from Yankee. Uh-huh. Don't they have Kalaba kitchen there? Are you sorry? Anything to eat or drink? Right then. Just relax, make yourself comfortable. You will have to wait for the break.
yourself please in the place while I prepare this outfit. Thank you so very much. Are you comfortable sitting this way? Why don't I get you appealing to rest your back? No, don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll make you one of these uh, drop here as well. Really? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Right back. Thank you. to look uh, presentable. Sure. That's nice. After a long time, one has to wear a different look. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely hair. Thank you. Mm -hmm. so, so, where exactly did you fix this lovely hair? In the salon across the room. Oh, just around the corner? Yeah. Just along the road. They're yeah. good, yeah. Here you go. Yeah, I can see that. Thank you. That's nice. Oh, Rose has been so wonderful. She's been, she, I mean, she really made me feel at home. Did she? Yeah. Okay. That's nice. There she comes. Hi, Betty. Oh, baby. You're welcome. Baby, you're looking, you're dressed to kill. What's up? Really? I'm just being myself, you know. Okay. Yeah. Are you not joining us? Go ahead, I've had mine. <laughs> did you really make this food? Yeah, I did. It I looks did. so delicious. I hope it's going to taste as delicious as it looks. Why don't you taste it? As my cooking. Oh, come on, honey. I know you're a good cook, but maybe she's better. Oh, you mean you haven't tasted my cooking? When? When? Um, the other day we had the celebration. Did yeah. You, did you cook that meal? Yeah, I did. I thought you were not feeling too well to cook. I had Just to, to call them then. I had to put in the extra effort for you, baby. Oh, that's so wonderful. Okay, for that, I'm going to give you a spoon. Yeah. Some drugs for her on my way back. 
Kenny, don't you think you're getting too generous? I mean... And? Uh, is there anything wrong with generosity? No, it's just that I... I think you're getting too familiar with my friend. Well, I'm only being myself. Besides, she's part of the system, isn't she? If you say so. Well, Betty, I have to be on my way right now. I will see you later, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Be careful. Are you bored? Hmm. My sister, I am bored. I am bored. In fact, I am not going to miss the state. Mm -hmm. I need it badly. I'm not too comfortable with this you, you this closeness you people now have. I'm not comfortable at all. Hey, sis, are you jealous? Hmm. Not you know eh? Nothing there between us. Look, it's just a platonic thing, huh? An in-house thing. He's still your guy. I hope so. I really, for your sake, hope so. <laughs> Make you shine your eye well, well. Babe, you don't get to Okay, I hope so. You know what, Hala? Don't worry, now just date. He's still your guy. Do you know you're beautiful? <laughs> I am flattered. Come on, I I don't have time for flatteries. I mean every word that I later. Are you just noticing me? <sighs> Maybe. Hmm. Don't put me into trouble. What trouble? Come on. Come off it. What trouble? I only said you're simply beautiful. and you know it. But Ken says there is nothing serious between the both of you, just the donation of kidney. And you believe him? Why not? You believe him? Why not? He's a man and not a baby. Rose, I'm disappointed at you. You? How can you throw it back at my face like that? Um, Betty, um, it's not what you think. No, no, I, I... We cannot stay here together. Please find an alternative place. So where do you want me to go to? I don't care. It's not my business. You're, you can take care of yourself. Find somewhere else to stay. Please go, go, go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Betty. Betty. Blue? Is that really you? But I thought... Oh, Lou. out of your house just like that. But this is my house. And I have the right to do as I please. Is it not even enough that she snatched my man? Listen, girl. Listen. The man in question here is me, okay? I have the right to take whatever decision I want to take. Besides, I wasn't that emotionally attached to you. It was just a passing thing. Passing what? Get out of my house. Get out now. Listen, Betty. Calm down, okay? You don't have to take it this way. Just try and understand. Take your understanding with you and get out. Get talking! Okay. Out! All right, all right, all right. I'll leave, okay? They have done their worst, but they can only make you sad. Do not allow hatred for them to overtake you. Keep an open heart. Fortune and your sister's demise. Yes, but that's past now. I lost her. What a shame. But don't let that weigh you down so much. We were very, very close. You won't understand. I do understand. Stop crying. Stop crying. way. I have uh, asked God to give me a wife. Oh really? Has yeah. he responded? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he has responded. So you actually came to invite me to your wedding? No, no, I have come to ask your hand in that marriage. Please, 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 uh, not again. Please, Betty. 
I have come to ask your hand in marriage and I don't want you to say no. I want you to say yes. But, but Steve, this is too sudden. God is full of surprises. You, you have to give me time to, to think about this. Think this true. Well, I'll give you some time. Think about it, I'll be back. saying no to him. But Lou, just, just like that. spoken prayer. Why not? Your presence has brightened my life. Yes, yes, my only one. I love you so much. I can't wait to throw the bouquet. Congratulations. Oh, Lou. Anything to suit you, my angel. Don't 
call by yourself. You've actually come for something very important. Betty, I've been worried about you. About me? Why? You see, um, our relationship. In fact, Betty, I'm really sorry for hurting you. Bruce, God has made me away. I've forgiven you everything. Meet my husband. Your Hi, husband? husband? Oh, congratulations. Thank you. You see, God turned this disappointment for good for me. He provided me with a loving husband to suit my needs. And uh, we are planning our wedding for the end of the month. Um, this is uh, an invitation for you. Yes, you are oh. already invited to the wedding. Can I have a Oh, congratulations. Uh, um, well, honey, I don't even know how to start this, but... Mr. Stephen, um, I don't think we'll be able to make it to your wedding. Why? I have no hard feelings. Um, let's put it this way. We actually came to give you our wedding invitation, which is also coming up uh, by the end of the month. <laughs> what a sweet coincidence. <laughs> Congratulations! Can they? 